Welcome to the tutorial Managing Drawings. So I hope most of you realize by now that drawings are not encapsulated in cells, but that they are actually files that are linked to these cells. So if you want to rename a drawing or delete a drawing, you don't edit the cell, but you edit the file itself. So let's go back to the X sheet view. I'm going to maximize it again. So to rename a drawing, you can select the drawing and then go to the top menu and select Drawing, Rename Drawing. And a dialog box appears that allows you to rename your drawing. So I'm going to rename this one Drawing 1. Another way that you can rename a drawing is by right clicking and selecting Drawing, Rename Drawing. And you can do the same thing. So I'm going to name this one Drawing 02. Another way that you can rename a drawing is by using the keyboard shortcut. So for Windows, that's Control-Alt-D, and for Mac, it's Shift-Command-D. So the rename drawing window appears once more. And the last way that you can add a drawing once again is by using a button that exists in the X Sheet View toolbar, um, and you can also add it to the Timeline View toolbar, and that's the Rename Drawing button. Let me select Drawing 4 and click on that. And you can see that everywhere that Drawing 1 exists, it's been renamed throughout its column. So you can also rename a drawing by its frame position. In fact, you can do it to a range of drawings. So if we select Drawing 1, hold down Shift and select Drawing 4, and then go to the Drawing menu, you can select Rename by Frame. So now they've been renamed the same number as their frame. So Drawing 1 is at Frame 1, Drawing 2 is at Frame 2, Drawing 3 is at Frame 3, and Drawing 4 is at Frame 4. And also, all their corresponding drawings have been changed um, in the same column. So now I want to show you how to delete a drawing, which is an operation that cannot be done. So by delete, I mean the actual file will be deleted in the backend folder. So let's keep the same range selected and go to Drawing, Delete Selected Drawings. So if you want to modify a drawing that already exists, but keep the original intact, you can duplicate it and work on the copy. The exposure will be removed and the selected cell will be replaced with the new drawing. So let's do this one in the timeline view. So this drawing right here, Punching Bag, has multiple exposures for its first drawing. So let's select, say, maybe the third frame. And then go to the top menu and select Drawing, Duplicate Drawing. So now you see that there's a line that's been created, which lets you know that this first drawing is held for two exposures, and then now the copy exists right after. And for all the next frames, right up until the next thick line. So when you're copying and pasting a drawing, you're not actually copying and pasting the drawing, but you're copying and pasting the exposure. And for this, you must use a paste special. So let's select a range of drawings, so maybe these ones right here. Then go to the Edit menu and go to Copy Cells from Timeline. And then let's move down the row. So like I explained before, we can copy this range right after, or we can actually copy it onto a whole different layer. So it doesn't even have to be on the same layer. So let's put it over here on frame 83 of the layer that's just above. And so we'll go to the Edit menu and select Paste Special. So the two things that I wanted to talk about are the two options that I wanted to talk about in the Paste Special dialog box of the Basic tab is only create drawings when they do not exist and always create drawings. So if you have the always create drawings selected, no matter where you are, um, it'll paste the drawings as is. And if drawings of the same name or number already exist, they'll just be renamed and then copied. If you have only create drawings when they do not exist, then anywhere there's a duplication. So if, say, our drawings have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there's a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 here, then it will not actually um, paste those drawings. And this is most useful for when you're pasting a template of a cutout character 
um, into your timeline. Sometimes you don't want duplicate arms and legs. You only want parts that are missing to be pasted um, into your timeline. And another good thing to know about paste specials, so let's hit enter there and undo that, is that you can actually go to the edit menu and select paste special again to be able to perform the same paste special with the same options that you chose in the paste special dialog box. And once again, there are buttons that exist for these two options. The paste special button is this one right here, so there's a star to make it look special. Um, and then the paste special again button is in the toolbar manager. And it's this one right here, so there's a star with a black circle and a white plus sign. So that's it for the tutorial, Managing Drawings. Stay tuned for the next tutorial, Annotation Columns for Animate Pro.